Virgin Galactic completing another vital step on its path to commercial space tourism. The company's spaceship VSS Unity traveling tucked under the wing of a special carrier aircraft. You can see it right there from Mojave, California, where the company's manufacturing facilities are based, to Virgin Galactic's new spaceport America HQ in New Mexico. This ushers in the final stages of testing and preparation for the launch of service. Virgin stock has skyrocketed, trading at double the price it began trading publicly at last October. Today, it's up 11 percent again, so it's trading above $26 a share at a new high. Joining us now, Virgin Galactic CEO George Whitesides. George, I'm thanks worried. for being with us. Congratulations on this move. Um, in terms of your timetable now for testing and actually being able to launch this commercial service, are you still on track for summertime? Well, you know, Morgan, in this business, we have to take every step, step by step, and do it safely. And, uh, you know, so yesterday's flight was huge in the sense that we, uh, you know, took our, our beautiful spaceship down to Spaceport America. And it was a really important flight. And now what we can do is we'll, we'll check out the vehicle and we'll start moving through our progression of tests. You know, what I like to do is just is let the engineers take each test step by step because that's the right thing, uh, you know, for our, for our test program. And in terms of those tests, what actually needs to happen over the coming months? for you to finally send Sir Richard Branson, the founder, up to the edge of space? Well, uh, so here's the things that we have to do. So um, number one is, uh, you know, we, we brought the vehicle down. And so we were able to do a nice cold soak test of the vehicle for about three hours up at altitude. And that's not something that we do on a traditional space flight. So that was really important. The next thing that we did was we actually were able to uh, train a new pilot on board, uh, Nicola Pecile, uh, a longtime pilot on board our, our, uh, our, on board our, our system, but, but the first time that he's actually flown in the spaceship. He flew along our chief pilot, Dave Mackay. So what you'll see going forward is a series of incrementally um, more ambitious flights. So we'll, we'll have some uh, uh, glide flights, and then we'll uh, look at the data, and we'll understand it, and then we'll go to powered flights. And then at that point would be the place where we could uh, think about flying Sir Richard. Yeah, investors are really excited. Uh, showing a lot of interest in, in Virgin Galactic stock. Um, stock's up over 100 percent year to date. Uh, and that's, of course, before the service has even actually started. Uh, it's getting comparisons to Tesla on Wall Street and the parabolic move we've seen in that chart as well. How closely are you watching this? Are, are you concerned? Well, you know, I, I come from the space business, and I'm just going to keep my, uh, my head focused on executing what we can do and to fly safely. That's the core of our business. Um, you know, uh, the, the market attention is, is uh, you know, interesting. But I think the main thing is that we just keep our focus on good engineering and, uh, and uh, you know, and, 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 and start to get ready to fly the amazing people um, that, uh, that have signed up over the years. You know, we have over 600 folks signed up and, and a lot more than that who have said that they want to fly with us. So we're, we're pretty excited about where we are right now. Yeah, and along those lines, I realize you're in a quiet period ahead of earnings at the end of the month. But the last time you and I sat down together at the beginning of January, we were talking about uh, that order book and, and the interest as well. Can you give us any kind of update in terms of whether you've seen the number of uh, folks reaching out, uh, seeking more information about service, whether you've seen that grown? Well, we'll, uh, we'll provide an update on some of those figures at the earnings call. But, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're still very optimistic about the overall size of this market. Got it. Uh, one other question for you. It was a big week uh, in D.C. in terms of that fiscal 2021 White House budget proposal. NASA is looking for a 12 percent jump in funding for next year. Um, it's one of the biggest increases we've seen for the space agency in, I think, decades. Um, how closely are you it assessing is. that and potential opportunities to work more closely with the federal government? Well, you know, uh, Morgan, uh, I was chief of staff at NASA, so I was paying a lot of attention, too. I, I think it's very exciting I'm news sure. for the Artemis program, the lunar program, um, but also other parts of the agency got increases in science. And, and uh, you know, we have a part of our, our, our uh, contract base is with NASA for the Flight Opportunities Program. That's an exciting area where they're buying suborbital flights from us. So, you know, I think that top line growth is really exciting for us because it's going to feed down through a whole variety of programs throughout the uh, civil space in, in, uh, ecosystem.